Arching over 8,849 meters into the sky, Everest is the world's tallest mountain. But will it always be? This is the science, and you are watching, how tall will Mount Everest get before it stops growing? Mount Everest, along with the rest of the Himalayas, inches further skyward every year. It raises an interesting question, with enough time, just how tall can Mount Everest grow? There are mountains on other planets in our solar system that dwarf those on our own, so are there limits to how big a mountain can get on Earth? In 1954 an Indian survey determined Mount Everest to be 8, 848 meters tall. But then, the crushing force of one continent hitting another caused the plate beneath the Tessus Ocean, made of oceanic crust, to slide under the Eurasian plate. This created what is known as a subduction zone. Then the oceanic plate slipped deeper and deeper into the Earth's mantle, scraping off Fold's limestone as it did so, until the Indian and Eurasian plates started compressing together. India began sliding under Asia, but because it's made of tougher stuff than the oceanic plate it didn't just descend. The surface started to buckle, pushing the crust and crumples of limestone upwards. And so, the Himalayan mountain range began to rise skyward. By around 15 to 17 million years ago, the summit of Everest had reached about 5,000 meters and it continued to grow. The collision between the two continental plates is still happening today. India continues to creep north by 5 centimeters a year, causing Everest to grow by about 4 millimeters per year, although other parts of the Himalayas are rising at around 10 millimeters per year. For a tall mountain range, you can basically get to such a steep angle in the rock that it can't actually support ice, and snow, and then you start to get avalanches, and you get bare rock, rock falls, and landslides, a constant hazard on Everest and the surrounding area, both play a role in shaving away at Everest's height, and rivers too. They have been estimated to be cutting gorges into the rock at a rate of between 4-8 mm a year. But the exact impact erosion has on a mountain's height is still to be understood. Some scientists believe that reducing the weight of a mountain, by taking away the snow, ice and rock it's made of, might allow the tectonic plates to push the, now lighter, mountain even further into the sky. Looking beyond our own planet, we can see examples of just how enormous mountains can become. Olympus Mons, a volcano on Mars, towers 21 kilometers into the sky and stretches 388 miles wide. It is roughly the size of the state of Arizona. Because gravity on Mars is weaker than on Earth, and because Mars doesn't have tectonic plates shifting and colliding beneath the surface, the use of lava that flowed out of the Martian volcano in the planet's past was able to grow to monstrous proportions. Could Everest become a similar giant? There are several barriers, apart from our planet's relentless weather, that might stand in the way of this. For starters, you would eventually run out of your tectonic forces, and then it would stop growing, she says. Scientists believe that eventually the Earth's mantle will cool to such a degree that the planet-wide dance of plate tectonics will end. Until then, earthquakes and landslides will also erode the mountain too. At some point, the mountain, becomes so steep that it's unstable and chunks start falling off. With the wind, snow, and ice buffeting, cracking and splitting the rock, Everest is unlikely to ever reach the sizes seen on Mars. We have our weather systems, and weather is good at creating erosional forces, basically, the fact that we have water, whether in the form of ice or snow, or just rain, is what really can limit mountain growth. For now, Everest keeps edging, bit by bit, into the sky as other forces try to tear it down. Global warming was yet another of these, driving considerable thinning of the snow and ice on the upper reaches of the mountain in recent decades and revealing more bare rock to the erosive impacts of weather. Olympus Mons, a volcano on Mars, towers 19.2 miles into the sky and stretches 624 kilometers or 388 miles wide. Everest is also far from being the fastest growing mountain on our planet. The closest contender for the top spot is perhaps Nunga Parbat, a neighbor to Everest located in the Pakistani Himalayan range, which is 8, 126 meters tall and growing at 7 millimeters per year. In 241,000 years, it could overtake Everest to be the tallest mountain on Earth, 
provided rates of erosion don't change. Meanwhile, Everest retains its allure as a mountain at the extreme of what can be found and endured here on Earth. Its reputation as the highest peak on our planet continues to attract climbers from all over the world, even as its height continues to shift. The exact measurement doesn't matter, what matters is that it's the highest, and that you go to the highest point. If you're having a bad day, or someone is not very nice to you, or they put you down, you can think to yourself, you know what? I've climbed Everest. For most who reach the summit, it is simply being there that counts. Stay tuned and subscribe to us for more such informative content.